everyone. Welcome to Mornings with me. I know you miss Jay. So if you want to send him your love and ask him back, uh, just comment below. Uh, so this video is about my morning routine, what products I use. I must say I'm not a dermatologist, so please don't follow any tips uh, that I might give you. I, I'll, I'll tell you my experience of these products, but uh, I, I'm, I'm free for roasting. So uh, I welcome any roasting. Uh, Dr. Dre, if you're watching, uh, Iram, uh, Cassandra, everyone, just please uh, roast away. So let's start. Uh, I filmed a couple of videos already and I'll leave the links of these products below. Most of them. Um, I can t show you most of them. Let's do this. All right. So that's me waking up in my silky pajamas. Um, I usually braid my hair at night uh, and I wake up all puffy, as you can see here. Uh, I have this jade roller. Oh, where is the jade roller? I don't have it here, but as you can see, it's like a pink quartz sort of um, jade roller. Uh, I use it in the morning just to start the blood circulation. And then as I, I don't wake up um, oily, usually, I've been using this Nivea green tea cleanser. It's a milky consistency it smells lovely i have sensitive skin and uh i shouldn't be wearing this because it has fragrance it definitely has fragrance but it's lovely you can try um it cost me three euros it there was an offer on it three euros uh in tesco um i use i'll show you my my towels because i use i reuse t-shirts actually uh soft uh, cotton t-shirts uh, don't be disgusted by my little cloths but that's what I do these were all t-shirts and I have some b-day towels as well if I want a more thorough um, cleanse cloth so they're all very clean okay uh, I wash my eyes with water so and I cleanse my skin with a milky consistency uh, cleanser. The previous one that I was uh, using, let me show you now, was the CN one. The one you can buy from Lidl. That's very good as well. I It has uh, lotus flower and silk. I don't know. Now, jumping to the vitamin C, the one you see, see on the screen, sorry. It's not on focus. I hope to show you in a better way the package. That's the package. That's the the Super Booster Serum from Aldi. I was very surprised. It's a it has a very good price. Ah, oh, you're not seeing anything. So that was the the little box. That's the the flask. This is a milky consistency as well. It has a nice smell as well, but fragrance again. The price is very good. I'll leave it below. I don't remember exactly how much it is. Uh, I like it, but again, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm, I, I've been very surprised with the, the Aldi products. I enjoy the, the Lidl products already, but I'm surprised, surprised with the Aldi products as well. The previous uh, vitamin C serum that I used was the, the Tree of Life one. Uh, this consistency is more of a gel. Uh, I, I love this one as well. Uh, it has uh, vitamin C, uh, green tea as well, uh, aloe, um, just to be sure, witch hazel. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's a good combination, but again, not a doctor. Not a doctor. Tree of Life. Um, I bought it from Amazon and it's one of the the best sellers that they have because the the price is very good. I bought my retinol with it. I'll, I'll tell you all about it when I uh, make my evening routine, if you'd like. Um, I bought the two of them and they offer me um, 
hyaluronic acid as well for free uh, and not a sample size it was the full um, bottle so um, they were very kind they have a very good customer service I believe they're they're a small company after cleansing and after vitamin C and I apply this every day so my cleansing may vary but I don't uh, vary on the vitamin C every day uh, sometimes I moisturize I have combination skin I have sensitive skin uh, I need to moisturize as well everyone does um, but I don't do it always sorry I don't do it always uh, this day was very very hot it's very very hot in Ireland in the last past weeks so I just used the uh, Neutrogena aqua something it's the aqua one it's the aqua gel not the creme oh the cream the cream uh, has a different consistency the gel, the gel um, only works for these kind of days when it's too hot if you feel like it's too heavy to use a cream use the gel instead um, but to be honest I'm not the biggest fan I'm not saying it's a bad product uh, the formulation is supposed to be very good but um, sometimes if I f feel like I need a bit more um, moisturizer uh, yeah, I don't feel hydrated as much as with another uh, cream. So I, I let everything set. Um, it's important to wait in between products. Just a few seconds, maybe one minute, just to let it set. Otherwise, sometimes uh, all the layers of products get really flaky. And it, when you're applying the last one, it flakes. Doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. So yeah, that was three steps so far so cleansing vitamin c and then hydration don't skip the hydration uh just get a a lighter cream maybe and um the most important is the next one i'd say but uh you'll see why i waited a little bit in a i I took a shower because I, I like to cleanse my face first then uh, wrap my hair if I'm not washing it and and then go to the shower and come back let it sit and uh, continue and uh, the most important product of all is the sunscreen uh, don't play with your sunscreen use it every day uh, I'm only starting this like a couple of years uh, ago uh, but it's important if you, if, if you don't wear it you'll start to see your signs popping up and that's the skin aging that's uh, that's an alert um, so yeah use your sunscreen one of the sunscreens I've been using is this brand called Altruist they have a face fluid it's a tiny tiny bottle so it's not as cheap as if you go to the shop. I don't know. Um, Altruist. Uh, they have the face fluid for oily skin. It's very light. I love it. It's very good. But in this case, I'm wearing a, a tinted sunscreen. Um, I'll show you here. So this use this works as a foundation. So on the inside, it's like, like this. And it has another compartment with a little sponge. But I, I don't love the sponge, it's very flimsy. So I just prefer wearing my own makeup sponge. Um, the coverage on this one is very good. It has a hyal hyaluronic acid, so if you're wearing this one and if you have combination or oily skin, maybe you don't need the moisturizer. Or actually you do, because the hyaluronic acid takes the moisture, uh, but it needs to take, to take the moisture from somewhere. So yeah, I, I believe you, you still do. Um, but yeah, it helps with your hydration and uh, it's SPF. 30 so that's already very good SPS 30 so as you can see the coverage was very good another
the day in my life and uh, for this one I have my bunny friend here my hairband that you can get from I don't know Amazon there are many stores that that sell it Amazon I got this one from Amazon a pack of two I just used this one I gave the other one to my sister and again, I started cleansing with Nivea. Nivea Naturally Good, the organic green tea. Yeah, Nivea or little brand Cien. Good. Or you can use another one, another milky. You can use whatever you want. This is just my routine. Getting too enthusiastic here. All right, so first you spread the, the milk, then you take it with a, a soft washed <laughs> cloth. It's a one use only uh, cloth. And then we have the vitamin C and I showed you. So I have my two different ones, one from Lidl, no, one from Aldi and the other one, the Tree of Life. Milky consistent, gel consistent. You let everything uh, just set to avoid the flakiness. Oh yeah, I have my makeup sponge here so I can show you. This is what I use to apply my cream SPF tinted moisturizer. Here it is. And then I have this one. This is the altruist as well. It's for hyperpigmentation and red redness. It has a higher SPF as SPF 50. And it's very good altogether, but you'll see how it's how tricky it is to use. So as soon as it comes out of the, the flask, it's green. Not joking. It's green. You'll see me looking like Shrek in a moment now. See, it's very dense. The first time I tried it, I applied it with, with my hands and I kid you not, I was, I was orange. I looked like Donald Trump or something. I was totally orange. So it helps a lot to use the sponge, the makeup sponge to, to work it. You need to work it in your skin. See, so as soon as you start working it in your skin, it will change consistency and color and it will kind of uh, um, turn into a, a very matte um, skin color. Yeah, it's still a bit dark for winter. I don't think I'll be using this one for winter, to be honest. I'll get something a bit more lighter, but uh, it's very good to, if, if you think about it. It's a three in one product. It's still a moisturizer. I think it moisturizes tinted facial moisturizer, moisturizer, SPF and foundation. Three products. Um, it's not cheap. It was like 15 euros, I think. Uh, but for what you're getting, it is. It's good. It's good love it i can only get it from amazon here in ireland uh it's a british product the, a british doctor created this project uh it has a, a charitable program as well he created this uh to make it affordable for third world uh, countries to protect their skin i think um there's something on their website uh but I just can't get get it here directly from their um, website uh, for the same prices and the same um, kinds of products. They're kind of limited to the UK, maybe because of Brexit. Um, so I finished applying the SPF uh, tinted moisturizer and I'm going to, to wait just a few seconds. So I'm showing you my makeup brushes. Uh, still working uh, the product into my skin and, um, and then I apply just um, powder just to let it sit uh, and make it 
feel more natural. And then I, I do my makeup. So like, subscribe, comment if you want Jay back and if you want makeup uh, videos. And that's it, guys. Enjoy the summer.